action by a community service officer likely saved a man's life. It happened yesterday around 3.30 in the afternoon. A man was rescued from the Red River after being in the water for about two hours. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop has the story. That was more excitement than I've had in a few weeks. <laughs> Moorhead Community Service Officer Cameron Cordes says he typically doesn't respond to things police officers do, like rescues. Don't respond to the same level of calls as they do. I enforce city ordinances and low-level calls. But Cordes says he was in the right place at the right time on Tuesday. I just happened to be right in the area, and it was something that I realized I could help with. Police say the 34-year-old man was walking along the shore where there was no path when he fell in. The current took him downstream about 20 feet, and he was able to grab onto a downed tree. And he was in the water clinging to the tree. Cordes was able to pull the man to safely to shore after jumping in himself. He was really in a lot of pain from the cold. He was shivering uh, very much, and I uh, thought, well, you know, waste no more time. Let's just get him out. The man told Cordes he was in the water for about two hours and even lost his jeans from the current. His jeans that had snagged on a tree branch, it looked like. His shoes were still upstream on the riverbank. Cordes says he'd even think about the cold water when he was in it and doesn't consider himself a hero. It's not something that I would consider because it's just something anybody would do. In Moorhead, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. The man was suffering from hypothermia and was taken to a hospital to be treated. Police want to remind you that it isn't illegal to swim in the river, but it is highly discouraged.